Today is a super exciting day, but also a sad day. Why exciting? Because in a few seconds in that video, we're going to start to build my brand new KTM 250 Duke stunt bike. And sad because we are actually retiring my Mad Rabbit version 2. It's done its live events, sick projects on YouTube, so it has a lot of hours on it. It was always going strong, never broke down, so I really love that bike. Now we're gonna find a nice place in my museum. And yeah, here are some of my memories of the KTM 250 Duke Mad Rabbit. plan is we're gonna protect the bike we have also the double brake system we have the custom tank we have special brake systems we have a lot of exciting parts for my prepared 250 duke that's the new 2024 model but this job today is way too much for one guy for one day so i call for reinforcement alish my friend uh, you know him from previous episodes, he teaches me how to be faster on the racetrack. I still didn't beat my teacher and this is gonna take a while I think, or maybe never will happen, <laughs> probably. And yeah, he is also helping me through the season to maintain my stunt bikes and also build new bikes. So, Alesh, ready for the build? I'm ready. Ready, let's go. We're starting off by taking down the rear wheel because we're gonna replace the stock sprocket and we have a special double brake system that took a lot of hours to develop because the wheel has a new design and it didn't fit with the previous system so we need to do it from the scratch. This is Dave, our engineer. Hello. Yeah, he designed this sprocket. And actually we are uh, now changing finally your Product. design from the stock 43 to the 60. Okay. Just for the people that watch that vlog, why we always use that big sprocket. You get more torque and the bike is way more stable when you do circle wheelies at low speeds. And that's a very crucial stunt part. So Listen to him, guys. He knows. <laughs> Okay, sprocket done, now the disc brake. So when we designed the double brake system, we faced an issue. When we wanted to mount the four piston caliper, we saw that it actually touches the wheel from the inside. So the solution for that was to increase the size of the disc itself. And luckily we have a sponsor Motomaster. So we went from 240 millimeters, which is the stock size, to 260 millimeter. And with that, we don't have any more issues that caliper touches the wheel. Yes, yes, I will torque wrench it. Uh, relax, guys. So we also took out the ABS unit because we will not use it anymore. I need straight brake lines from the brake pump to the brake caliper. With that way I have more brake feel. And also we're gonna take out this ABS ring. We don't need it anymore. to 
you know how you see the difference between the pro and the amateur? Oh. Look at his hands and mine hands. <laughs> amateur versus pro, he knows how to protect the hands. Eh? Mm -hmm. Or is actually that amateur and this is the pro? I don't know. I'm not sure either. <laughs> Guys, tell us in the comments below what you think. <laughs> Alex is uh, thinking, oh, this is a long process. Let me versus put it the pro. Versus all. So actually just here come closer so you see you just press this one up and let me concentrate together ah, okay yeah <laughs> a few moments later better let's leave the pros <laughs> that's the rock on tech tip the position of the clip should be on the counter direction means that the opening here should look downwards not in the way of the rotation because it can hit a uh, plastic or something and it can fall down and that means that also the chain falls down you don't want that the sprocket side is now done with the longer chain and now the part that i was looking the most forward to is the double brake system so for the handbrake we're gonna use the four piston caliper and also for the foot brake, we, will, we took down the stock two piston caliper with the four piston one that we took from the front brake. And with that, I will have more brake power. And also result is that I don't need to press that hard with my hand or with my foot, which results into less uh, energy loss. And that's super important when you do a 20 minutes stunt show. Such beautiful work of art. Or let, let me see where, where. <laughs> Sheesh, that's precision, bro. Change of a plan, instead of this old caliper, we're gonna steal down this brand new caliper from the 390 Duke. Wrench set up. Click. I'm trying to flex the brake line because my OCD doesn't let me that it stays like this. I just want that it's nicely, precisely together and goes like a one line together. So let me see if this works. Yes, doesn't work. <laughs> I just broke the brake line away. <laughs> Luckily we have a spare one and yeah, I probably should heat it up. So I just broke it away. Don't do that at home. The dual brakes on the rear wheel are done. Now we need to move to the handlebars where we're gonna apply another brake pump on my left hand and also we're gonna change the handlebar to a more wider one and a more flatter band so I have more kind of a supermoto style I have more control over my bike okay this we don't need anymore Final touch, we are adding the brake pump on my left hand and this way I'm gonna have a handbrake. If you look at the bike, we have really a nice orange touches. So look at this beautiful bolt. It adds uh, another one horsepower because it's orange anodized. This is our general rule at the KTM bikes. The more anodized orange parts you got, the more powerful your bike is. The handlebar is changed and also the double brake system is now up and running. The next thing, protection. So we're gonna protect the bike with a sub cage and a crash cage. And this is the sub cage that it's plug and play and fits to all new KTM Duke 125, 250 and the 390 Duke. So Alex, it's your honor, you can put it on.
rear part of the bike protected, let's move now to the front. For the front we're gonna use the KTM Power Parts crash cage and I think they should do the job. small but important protection part and also a part that gives uh, some more stunt tricks which are the front freestyle packs super simple fit on the bike just in and on the other side the same and one bolt and we are done With the wheelie bar, we're gonna add some more trick options to the KTM 250 Duke. Super simple to mount on, four bolts, we are ready to rock. Titanium skid plate for some nice sparks. And the final touch, the grip tape. Next up is fresh oil for the brand new engine. We're gonna use the Mop Patrol full synthetic oil and it comes in this beautiful box. Look at this, four liters in one box. You can get it at your local dealer or on our online shop. We ship worldwide, bagrushperformance.com. Premium 15V50, full synthetic, high viscosity engine oil. Take out all the last drops of the precious red fresh oil. And one bottle done, one to go. Nice romantic uh, light here, afternoon sunshine coming from the window. It's the best time to wrench in our garage. Okay, we are now almost there. Putting back the stunt tank, it's already assembled and yeah, let's have a marriage. And end sprint, almost there, we're gonna fire up the bike, let's go! Okay, now the moment of truth, let's see, let's fuel it up, let's see if it fires up. And then maybe we're gonna do a quick test run in front of the garage. Look out there, it's leaking. Is it leaking? <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> then we have a huge problem, enough of issues for today, man. Okay. Alex, it's your honor to fire up the brand new stunt bike. Because I just brought zero luck today. So you bring me luck. So Fuel pump is pumping. Fuel pump is working, okay. Let's pump a bit fuel. I hope the battery is not done because it stayed for a few weeks now. I'm That's not sure. Uh oh. Finish up the last details, so here's a little sneak peek. <laughs> 